Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome here to the launch pad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 6 4, launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the launch pad. And here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And we're glad to have you joining us here as we continue to navigate this new way SpaceX is bringing live coverage of their Starlink missions and non on customer launches uh, via only broadcasting over on X. We're waiting for SpaceX to go live. We are now at T minus four minutes, 32 seconds and counting until launch. We're uh, continuing to await to see a live feed come up here. And we're gonna patch it in right now as they have finally gone live. Uh, for tonight's launch. As always, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by tagging us at the launch pad. And we'll work on answering those live to the best of our ability throughout today's stream, so you can send those in. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Make sure you take a moment, engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage as we continue to count down towards tonight's launch. With SpaceX now live there, we're going to bring in this live feed of the Falcon 9 out at Slick 40. We're on syncing those countdown clocks as we are now T minus four minutes and counting until launch here this evening. Weather 90% go. Tonight's, if you want to know more, as always, about today's mission, you can head over to tlpnetwork.com. That's where our upcoming launch calendar is, but you can also see your detailed mission briefings. Today's mission, 6 14, is launching on Falcon 9 Booster 1076, going for its seventh flight. This booster has previously supported Dragon CRS-26, OneWeb-16, Intelsat 40E, three other Starlink missions. Its last mission was on July 23rd of this year, carrying Starlink 6-6 from this same pad. SpaceX's autonomous, uh, autonomous spaceport drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, is located downrange as it awaits to recover bo the booster here today. Lots of people just tuning in. Great to have so many regulars here. Welcome. Good to see you, Sharon, Jessica, Mike, uh, N3Mo, that one guy, Jeffrey. Thank you so much for all being here as well. Straddle Blaster, Denise, uh, seeing some other names in here as well. If you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the broadcast, uh, and we'll work on continuing. We're going to just take our clock off there. It's acting up a little bit. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds and counting until launch from Slick 40. Strong back retract well underway, and we are waiting for Falcon 9 to actually go into startup here ahead of tonight's flight. Listening into the live sights and sounds from Slick 40. T minus two minutes, 20 seconds and counting. As always here at the launch pad, take a moment. Let's see that go, no go in the chat as we go into the final minutes of the count. T minus two minutes and counting. We got uh, Stage late. Two, lock load complete. Complete. There we hear a call out of the lock slow being complete on stage two. T minus one minute, 45 seconds. Next major milestone will be Falcon 9 going into startup. It's one of the last major milestones uh, ahead of launch. About 45 seconds from now is when we expect to, he expect to hear the SpaceX launch director give that final go for launch. T minus 1 minute, 20 seconds and counting. Another beautiful night out on the Space Coast. SpaceX is going to continue pushing that record. This is their 60-second flight this year. 60 Falcon seconds and counting. And Falcon 9 is officially in startup. Listening for that launch director to give that final go for launch in the next couple of seconds here. SpaceX launch director, go for launch. And there we have that call out that we are go for launch. T minus 40 seconds and counting. At T minus three seconds, the engine controller commands will uh, command the engine ignition sequence to begin. T minus. T 
T-minus 15 seconds. Let's see that go, no, go in the chat. T-minus 10. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. Go, Falcon, go, Falcon. T plus 10 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 booster 10 67th flying for its seventh time. 20 seconds into flight, now traveling 300 kilometers an hour, a kilometer in altitude. The next major milestone will be max Q, that's maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's when the most stress will be forced onto the first stage of the vehicle. We're expecting that to at 1 minute 12 seconds into flight. We'll await that call out for mission control. Power range telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And there's that call out for max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle, those largest stresses vehicle having successfully made it through. Next major milestone or milestones will be a series of events starting off with Miko, first stage main engine cutoff at 2 minutes 26 seconds into flight, immediately followed by first and second stage separation and MVAC ignition or SES1, second engine start one. Those are all in a sequence of about 10 seconds. About 30 seconds later we'll see fairing deployment so we'll wait for those callouts as Falcon 9 continues to soar carrying 22 more Starlink satellites into orbit passing 4,000 kilometers an hour 33 kilometers in altitude having launched from slick 40 at cape canaveral space force station in florida Fifteen seconds from Miko. Miko. Stage separation. In that condition. And there is that series of events on the left side of your screen of you from the first stage. So it continues to uh, increase in altitude, but has lost its speed. And there are grid fin deployment. On the right side of your screen, live view of that MVAC engine on the second stage. You can see that burn burning nominally. That engine is going to burn until 8 minutes, 39 seconds into flight. Looking towards the next milestone, we have about 3 minutes once fairing has deployed. And there's that fairing separation. Those fairings will fall back to Earth and attempt to be recovered. Uh, it takes about 45 minutes approximately for those to re-enter. That next milestone we're looking for is first stage entry burn start. That was 6 minutes 9 seconds into today's flight. That burn lasting for 22 seconds today. The autonomous drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, is stationed downrange from the Cape, ready to receive tonight's Falcon 9. Booster 1076 now having completed its seventh mission, going for its seventh recovery. T plus four minutes into flight, about two minutes away from that first stage entry burn. Continue to follow watching that altitude of the first stage on the left side of your screen. When we see that altitude start to drop, means the first stage has reached its apogee and, of signal Bermuda. and is now beginning to make its descent. We're watching for that number to switch. As Falcon 9 continues with the second stage, we hear that hand over to the Bermuda tracking station uh, for the data. Live telemetry on the bottom of your screen for both the first and second stage. 
and there is that altitude starting to increase and the uh, decrease and the speed increase on the first stage meaning first stage has reached its apogee and is now beginning its descent down we are now just about a minute and a half away from its entry burn when it begins to enter the earth's atmosphere first stage or second stage now traveling 11,000 kilometers an hour 150 kilometers in altitude has another three and a half minutes left in that second stage burn. Another live view from that first stage on the left side of your screen, looking in the inner stage, looking out towards the vastness of space. First stage now descending through that 100 kilometer, now passing through the Kármán line, continuing to increase its speed about 30 seconds away from its first stage entry burn. So it'll light up just a limited number of those Merlin engines to help create basically a shield for the vehicle to re-enter through the atmosphere, help it slow down, but also for it to withstand that re-entry heating. You can see those little puffs of white, those are the RCF thrusters on board the first stage as it continues to navigate its way back. About 15 seconds away from that first stage entry burn. Second stage now traveling over 14,000 kilometers an hour. Passed through 160 kilometers. The flight termination on the first stage has been saved. Stage Waiting one, that. Entry burn startup. And there's that entry burn startup. This entry burn is going to last about 30 seconds, excuse me, 20 seconds. This is slowing the vehicle down, helping it re-enter the Earth's atmosphere without overheating uh, and breaking apart. You can see those grid fins as well, helping navigate towards a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that looked like a good entry burn. Next milestone for the first stage is going to be the first stage landing burn. That is set to occur eight minutes, one second into flight. So just over a minute, 20 seconds from now. If you look closely, it is night, so it's a little harder to see, but you can see those grid fins steering, directing the first stage towards the drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Now just 25 kilometers above that drone ship, still traveling over 5,000 kilometers an hour. Through 15 kilometers in altitude, live view has been restored. Passing through 10 kilometers in altitude on that first stage. 30 seconds away from that landing burn. Expected loss of signal cape. Both the, first, both the first and second stage are now far enough away from the cape that they have handed over to other ground stations. Now coming to 6 kilometers above the drone ship, still about 1,100 kilometers an hour. 15 seconds away from that entry, or for them, that landing burn. That burn expected to last about 25 seconds. Two and a half kilometers in altitude. Second stage in turbo guidance. And there we have landing stage burn start. Landing burn. 500 meters. 250 meters. 200, 100 meters. Stage one landing leg deployed. And almost right in Stage the middle there. Confirmed. Falcon 9 Booster 10 67th having completed its seventh mission. Well, with SpaceX doing their new systems, the second stage is on its way. We're expecting Seco 1 uh, right about now, and there is Seco 1. That's going to do it for us tonight from our TLP Canada studio. If it was your first time here, make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage. We are counting down to the launch of the first Atlas V in a number of months, launching NROL 107 from Slick 41. We are at T-9 hours, 29 minutes, and counting, so we we'll hope you'll join us for our live launch coverage of that. That, but that's going to do it for us here tonight from our TLP Canada studio. My name is Zach, and I'll see you next time because space is better together. Good night.